With the 20th anniversary of the Chernobyl accident, there has been much needed debate and coverage of the issues. We all took a moment to reflect on the havoc wreaked upon generations of innocent people by the world's worst ever nuclear disaster. But what happens next? What happens when the world's media looks away to its next headline? Unlike other catastrophes, a nuclear disaster carries on and on because it twists and distorts the very fabric of life. Nothing prepares us for the consequences of such an event. No war, earthquake or hurricane gives us the experience to handle it. Chernobyl has left us staring into the abyss. Looking around the stricken regions of Belarus, Western Russia and Northern Ukraine today, it is clear that we need a new approach and a new courage to deal with the reality of what we find there. As radiation affects another generation, robbing them of a future, we need new and different ways of addressing their problems. For two decades, the state has been supporting millions of citizens affected by Chernobyl. It's a huge burden, and the people are now desperate to move on. Children are most at risk, as they receive up to six times more radioactivity than adults because of their smaller size and more active metabolism. By helping them to rebuild their lives, the CCPI supports the victims, the survivors, and their families, and particularly the children. Until recently, children were living in substandard, unhygienic conditions without adequate levels of care and stimulation. A long-term plan for Vesnovo will see the completion of children's wards equipped with upgraded toilet and shower facilities with the obvious resulting improvements in everyday quality of life. We are here because these are children who have been forgotten by the world, even physically they're at the end of a road here actually. I think I suppose the message psychologically for children coming in here is that you have reached the end of the line, the only way out of here is going to be in a coffin or to another adult mental asylum. We hope to intervene by providing a halfway house with educational and psychological supports. Within three years, with access to our new daycare centres, these young adults will be able to live independently in their communities. Keeping these children out of mental asylums prepares them for a future where they can be self-confident and take on a useful role in society. Please help us to break the cycle of abandonment and give what you can. On this 20th anniversary, let us remember the catastrophe that is Chernobyl, that suffering, that sacrifice, and now, that neglect, that negation of reality. Children are every nation's treasure and true wealth. They are our special investment in the future. In their name, let us together pledge to nurture and protect that future in the knowledge that nothing is more precious in life than life itself. <laughs>